Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level 20, Dragons Free Play for Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4. We're going to get all of the collectibles, all four house crests, all three character tokens. We're going to turn that frown upside down, save that student in peril. We're going to get that true wizard status of 52k, and it's important to note that you do need grip hook, and you also need a dark arts or dark magic wizard. Uh, strong character helps. Hagrid, uh, if you don't have Hagrid by now, you're obviously jumping ahead. So, uh, anywho, we're assuming that you have everybody that's needed, and you've selected dragons, free play, and you're off and running. So... Here we are in the very beginning. We're going to have to uh, zap the old hatch of eggs, the little hatchlings there. And uh, it allows us then to grab the purple egg. We can then use Wingardium Leviosa to put it up top and drop it down. Or drop it like it's hot. And uh, lift it up and drop it like it's hot yet again. And third time's a charm. We'll go ahead and move that all the way up and around until the red dragon can get his little, his little kidling there. And oh, so cute. All right, as we make it to our next piece of uh, quote-unquote prep work as we take Immobilize and remove those pixies to get that strong man handle, uh, it's important to note that we do have video quick links down below for all of the collectibles. So if you're here simply to watch the video and hang out, great. If you're here for more specifics, like maybe you just need that student in peril or you know character tokens, uh, use the quick links down below. We also have quick links to our website as well as also all of our social networks. That came out a little funny. Uh, but yeah, so anyhow, we're making our way around. We're not grabbing any of the important items quite yet. There are a handful of these little lanterns. There's one right to the right. Jenny standing, or not Jenny, Hermione is standing right next to one right there. And uh, as we destroy the bush and build the giant mushroom boinger, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, run right by that. Now, reason is we're going to get them all at the same time. It is kind of a pain in the butt. We have to run back to start at the beginning and do it, but we speed the video up a little bit and we do get them all at once. Uh, there are quite a few of them. I believe there's nine total, but uh, I promise we'll get them all and we'll get them all in order. So here we are at the Green Dragon. We got a little xylophone. We're gonna play a little music and lull this guy to sleep. It's basically a game of memory. He's going to give us a few notes and we are gonna need to play them on the xylophone. And he'll give us the, the yes or the no indication if you do it right or wrong. We got the yes, so we move on to the next one. Now it's important to note too that when we get all the way done and we put this dragon to sleep that there is a uh, house crest for banging the yellow tab five times. So once we uh, finish this little uh, color scheme here you can see our house crest one pops up down below on the bottom left and we'll go ahead and tap 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 a roo three four five bang all right so once you get all five of those pounded out, we'll go ahead and grab that and roll out. So there's another one of those lanterns. And this part can get a little sketchy because the, the jump's a little weird. And I found that um, although sometimes it feels like you're going to overshoot the jump, just go ahead and press all the way live and it should get you right where you need to go. All right, and here we go. As soon as you get across those jumps, there is a dark magic cabinet. We'll go ahead and use Professor Snape to go ahead and take those out. And we're gonna do the last couple of things here on our uh, prerequisite list in order to go back and get all of those little lanterns. So you did see us use Wingardium Leviosa with that barrel to put out the fires. We filled it up with water and draped it over the top. And now we're uh, just putting all sorts of stuff in place with Leviosa. As we get all the way up top, we can see that the blue dragon is not very happy but he has the ability to take out those purple hooks. So there are three of them. We're going to need to use Wingardium Leviosa to pick up the circular tube and uh, kind of aim them up and to the right of the target in question. And in this case, it'll be all three of these purple little S clamps or carabiners, whichever you want to call them. And once you get all three of them, he will drop the bridge and give us access to get out of here. Before you go anywhere though, use your dark magic or dark arts wizard to go ahead and pull down that skeleton and rebuild it and he'll get his fish on. Ready for this? We ran right by this. You didn't even know this was in there, did you? So uh, hopefully he brought the right bait and it looks like yes he did because he pulled out the house crest number two, the bluesy, and he left a bunch of studs for us too. That was awfully nice of him. 
All right, so now you get to this bridge and you get to this point where you got to build these bricks up. Now, it doesn't matter how you build them. The important part is you just have a safe path to get across. Now, there's also some studs up high. If you're running low on studs or you just simply want to collect them, go ahead and build the bricks up and uh, grab those. We're going to avoid doing that just to help save some time. And now we're actually clear to run back and get all of these because we now have a clear path to get all. I guess there's nine of them. Whee! Watch out for that step there. Told you it's a little sketchy. I almost missed that one too. And as we get all the way back, hey, 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 let us know what you think down below in the comments. We always appreciate your kind words. Sometimes you guys have uh, helpful things to help others, and sometimes you have helpful things to help us. So uh, we appreciate all those. And now we're off and at them. First one is right at the very beginning of the level. The second one is right on the first turn there. So you should have two before advancing over that little, little tiny little bridge there. The third one's right before the old red mushroom. The fourth one is right past the green dragon cage. And then we're going to hop back across this crazy ravine again. And once we get all the way back over, there are two of them in this right corner. So you might have actually got one already, depending on uh, you know how you took out that dark magic cabinet. Now the next one's going to be up at the top of the stairwell there. You just saw us nail number seven. Eight is actually just before we jump across the bridge that we built with our Lego bricks. And the final one is actually right at the base of this bridge. And booyah kashow! So I know it's kind of a pain going all the way back, but isn't it easier getting them all in order rather than like mixing up the dragons and all that stuff in there? Yeah, all right. Hopefully we all agree. And uh, moving along, we'll go ahead and pull out Grip Hook and spin to win, open the safe, and grab character token number two. So thank you, sir. Now up top, you might notice there are a couple of silver locks. Use any character that has the Reducto ability to go ahead and take those out. Use Wing Guardian Leviosa to kind of tilt that box and dump some bricks out. And then continue to use Leviosa to build up this. Looks like a dragon of some sort. I'm not sure. It's kind of got a weird head on it. But uh, he's fire breathing and he's melting these wood panels. Even though they're not really burning, they're just kind of disappearing. And whoops, look out. I left that totally in there because I wanted you guys to see that if you accidentally advance too far, you can return to this area by simply running backwards so there are a handful of studs that you can dig up here as well so nothing too important but uh, it is a dark magic uh, little chest and it is kind of deceiving because there's nothing but studs in it well I, I take that back there's a heart in it as well and right now we're a little low on studs and we were kind of freaking out that we weren't gonna have enough studs to finish with the uh, true true wizard but uh, I realized I didn't want to waste any time going back and I thought hey what the heck we'll just try it out and see what happens and as soon as you get in the new area, right off the bat, you can see that there is another chest with a, a silver lock. Use Reducto to take it out and hop inside and grab it. And last but not least, there is one more little spot to use the key. And look at that. I got the studage I needed. And uh, we'll go ahead and switch to Grip Hook one last time. Spin to win. And pop out that student in peril. So, hey, what's that frown for? We saved you. Yay. All right. Now, moving along with the level, that is actually it for the collectibles. So if you uh, want to hit save and exit, you're welcome to do that now. Um, we are going to go ahead and finish this out. You have to use Wingardium Leviosa on these chains. And there's, well, you do one, your character does another, and then uh, the AI character pops up and does the third as well. So once we make it into the next area, we can see he sips on some invisible potion there. And so I think I'm all slick, so I switch to Harry and I put on my cloak, right? Well, for whatever reason, it did not work. Like, I get across there, and he just slaps me. So, I'm not sure what happened, but I, I think it might have been because Hermione got close enough, perhaps. I'm not exactly sure. But you're going to need one character to go down and one character to stay up. Um, being that it's free play, it doesn't really matter which you, one you choose because you can switch to any character pretty much at any time. Uh, but now that that other character is out of the way, see, look at that. We switched to the cloak again, and we couldn't get through there, so... Uh, kind of a weird deal. I don't know if it was user error, game error, or what, but uh, keep on keeping on, and eventually you'll find uh, a place to use Loomis Solemn, and then go ahead and smack him around, and you can keep on advancing. Then you get to this giant rock kind of like thing, and you're going to have to use Leviosa to lift it up to let your character down below get by, and then you should be able to jump over it and make your way with the character. Yeah, yeah. 
And then you got to wait for your character up top to get close enough to the little cavern there and spin it around, get them all the way through down to the end, and then make your other character go on through the bottom way. Last but not least, we need to dig up the little, uh, I guess it's the controls here in order to, uh, well, I guess it's just the part to allow us to lift it up. So once you dig up that spot, we can lift it up with Leviosa with the bottom character. Go ahead and switch quickly and zap that last little iron piece there and run off for the Puyika Shao moment. And that was it. Puyika Shao. All right. So all three characters, boom, boom, boom. And all four house crest pieces, adding them up. We only got a couple levels left. I don't know if you're as excited as I am. We still got some free roam to do as well, too. But lots behind us. Not too much ahead of us. Ooh, and speaking of ahead of us, we're getting really close to that 2 million mark. I don't know why, but I just I feel good about having 2 million studs in the bank. And, yep, turn that frown upside down, buddy. And, ooh, we crossed the 100 mark. So we are now officially halfway beyond the halfway mark for the gold bricks. And that's actually going to wrap it up for Lego Harry Potter, years 1 through 4, level 20, Dragon's Free Play. And uh, we made our way through that level pretty quickly. Um, yeah, so hopefully you guys found that video maybe a little bit entertaining and mostly informative. And uh, hey, if you got something to say, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below. We also have Instagram, G+, and Twitch accounts. And, uh, hey, if you guys want to see more streaming or if there's something specific you'd like to see at happythumbsgaming.com, drop us a note on uh, one of our above social pages and uh, let us know. And, again, all of these links can be found down below in the video description right next to the quick links for all the collectibles as well. So, hey, we'd love to hear from you, but uh, hearing from me, that's it for now. As always, until next time. Mm-hmm.